Hey, welcome to the 10th part of this video series in which you will learn how to use Firebase Authentication Service. In this tutorial, we are going to add some visual feedback to the interfaces and ending up with hosting the app on real servers. If you downloaded the project files from GitHub, make sure to link them to the project you have created on the Firebase console using the Firebase use command. Users now can sign in, but it doesn't make any sense for an already logged in user to have access to the login or sign up page unless they log out. So, to prevent them, we are going to use the onAuth state changed function, which will be redirecting the user to the profile page if they try to open any of the mentioned pages while they are signed in. It's a bit tricky with the sign up page because the on auth state changed will redirect the user before completing the sign up last step, which is sending the verification email. That happens because once the sign up with email and password finishes, the user is automatically signed in which will trigger the on auth state changed function. A quick fix to that is to create a variable that will block the on auth state changed, so the send verification will be responsible for the redirection after sending the email.
As you can see, users can't figure out what mistakes they made trying to sign up or sign in or whatever other action they make. So, we need to show a feedback message that tells the user what exactly was wrong trying to take that specific action. I have already created a hidden div that needs to show up for one second showing the error message to the user then hides again. Lastly, to host the project is pretty simple, we just need to type the firebase deploy command. But, before we do that, we need to edit the firebase.json file, so the routes work correctly once the app is deployed. The type property is basically specifying the HTTP responses code. Check the description for the project files and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification and see you in the next video.